Hey guys, Matt here with another video. Uh, this one is probably not going to be very exciting, but uh, we are in the office today. We are doing book work. Um, I've got all these lovely receipts. I've already got quite a bit done, but this part of the not fun stuff, you got to keep up on this stuff so that way it's a lot less of a headache later. You're not scrambling for tax season like I always seem like I am, but I always try to do better the next year and the next year and next year. So. One of the things I do, I just got done with all my recent receipts. These are all the receipts that were piled in my center console, which is a black hole for anything in my work truck, especially any work truck is like that. That center console is just, <laughs> it's got all kinds of stuff in it. And um, so anyway, I went through that. I cleaned the truck out on the last couple of videos this Sunday, kind of wiped it down. So I figured, you know what, let's get these receipts out of there put them in the books and get that center console under control. So I kind of worked on that. Uh, we might work on cleaning it out a little bit more later because there's some like scrap metal in there, like bolts and nuts that I think I'm going to need, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, not a super reeling video today, but I've got a couple invoices to send. I've got a couple receipts to build and send, and uh, we're going to kind of close out our books, uh, make sure they're up to date. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that's not that's that's really all today for me so far is going to be um just kind of doing some personal laundry and uh making sure everything's taken care of you know on the on the computer side but i gotta add some coolant to the truck today and we might try cleaning out the back of that truck the service truck bed because it's kind of a mess right now uh we got a job scheduled for tomorrow we're doing some industrial contracting so that's fun um I went to a big factory in town that we are at every now and then. So that's kind of cool. Uh, we'll have some nice content tomorrow. We'll have Alex with us and, uh, you know, it'll be a bit, it'll be a good day. Uh, but yeah, this is, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to do a time lapse of this. This is just the absolute mind numbingly shitty part of owning a business is now you're the one in charge for all this. So I'm going to go ahead and get to work on this, pop some music on and, Groove right on through it. I'll see you on the next clip. Do you want me to start a new video? Huh? Evan.
middle, right in between. That's what she wants it. Where you want it. Brand new compressor. So what we're doing now is um, there's a piece of that aluminum in the back of my truck along with our metal dolly. We're going to take that, put it back on the rack and basically have some space. Me and my brother are going to go pick up a pressure washer and uh, He's got to wash some of his equipment when he gets ready. So he's getting ready for hay season right now. And, uh, and there. This is the first time in probably three, four weeks that this truck has been back here at this part of the yard just due to mud. So this truck gets stuck way too easily. Like... <laughs> wet grass this truck will get stuck on wet grass and dig itself into the ground so because it weighs 12,000 pounds so <laughs> yeah she gets stuck pretty easily I'd say that's about good right there we're gonna get this metal and stuff on the rack
in the video. Every welder needs a dog. Because welders don't have friends. We got the pressure washer and back of the truck right now. We're going to be, me and Chuck are gonna go get lunch and um, get some fuel in the tanks in the back and head back to the yard and start working on stuff. It's good. What'd you get? Uh, burrito. I got the three tacos with the Beans and rice. Yeah. Yep. All right, we are back at the yard now. Um, Chuck is over here getting ready to wash some of his equipment. And I figured if he's gonna be washing his equipment, maybe I should uh, wash my truck too. We're doing a commercial job tomorrow and it's in an industrial setting, so. I like to clean the truck up, make it look nice when we show up in the morning. Sexiest looking track, but she gets the job done. She's a lot cleaner now. I think, really, honestly, if I wanted to spruce this thing up really well, new bumper or get it powder coated, personally, that wasn't me. I actually bought the truck like that, believe it or not. Now, this being bent in right here, that was me. Uh, <laughs> so, I don't know. Man, you gotta hit something real hard to do that kind of stuff. I don't know if something was ran into it or the truck was ran into it. I don't know when that happened. So, um, a new bumper and either a powder coated or a new new tailgate that would uh, do wonders for this thing and maybe get that actually powder coated, not just you know spray painted. But yeah. Maybe sometime in the future, a new bumper. This was me. I was trying to push dumpsters around, like 20 yard dumpsters around with it. And uh, they may have been full. We got the job done. We got them put back where they're supposed to go, but <laughs> not without some casualties. So I, at least I didn't crack the plastic. So, yeah. Not too bad looking. I got up in here and kind of washed stuff up a little bit. Cleaned up a lot of that metal and stuff that was in there so that way we can have more room to put stuff and walk around. Um, right here where the handles are is kind of our main means of getting up and down from the bed. So I'd like to have this area right here clean as possible. Uh, what for changing the amperage and hooking up leads to the engine drive and getting cones and stuff like that. So, just like that. But yeah, 
Got everything kind of tucked away here. All right. Freshened up the plastics a little bit. Shined up the chrome a little. no means a professional detailer but I said it in another video it's a work truck you know it's <laughs> these trucks don't just sit around and get driven on the pavement so unfortunately as much as I love to be in the mud with this thing uh, and go getting it dirty and making it money One, it's hard on trucks to be constantly going off road and it's hard on the suspension. It's just hard on everything. It's just common sense. It's hard on shit. But since they paved our road, oh, come on. she's starting to spin because of the puddle. Hey guys, we are back in the office, kind of finishing things up for the day. Uh, there's still some more office work to do, but it's not stuff I'm going to film for obvious reasons. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video, another short one, but uh, just kind of the day in and day out operational stuff. Uh, share this video, like it, do all that good stuff that everybody else tells you to do. And if you don't like it, don't share it and dislike it. I don't care. Go watch somebody else if you don't like it. So uh, yeah. Remember guys, always stay profitable. I'll see you on the next video.